students welcome to our classes and in this video is an extension of the last uh, video of the model paper solutions of economics honor students so here you have a question you can take a look so y equal to l to the power alpha so this is a perfect graph which passes through origin they want us to tell for the function total product tpl So total product of is the, the marginal product they have given is a derivative at a equal to 5 obtain MPL and find the curve is increasing or decreasing. So first of all MPL is in DDL of total productivity of labor. So that is for sure. So DDL of L to the power A. That's it. So this will be a l to the power a minus 1 at 5 a to the power 4. So that's it. And now as l is increasing, l is greater than 0. Now in order to know whether this MPL curve is increasing or decreasing, we need to re-differentiate the curve. So DDS of MPL, so this is 20 l q. This is positive again as L greater than 0. So, MPL curve or marginal productivity curve is an increasing function. Okay. So, the first uh, order here directly give you the idea. Remember that for maximum or minimum we need to do second order but for increasingness or decreasingness only first order derivative will be required. Now we need to show that this function is linearly homogeneous. So in order to show homogeneity, let L and K changes by lambda units. You just need to think. Then you replace the entire structure with lambda L and lambda K. Rho 1 minus lambda lambda k whole rho whole by rho. So check out whether things are coming common. So lambda to the power p here will be common and here will be again a lambda to the power p coming from the common whole side. So I can write it lambda to the power p this thing now lambda to the power p whole to the power 1 by p is coming out as lambda itself and rest of the thing is same which we can write f of l comma k so f of lambda l comma lambda k is becoming lambda, lambda of f of l comma k so this is a illuminately homogeneous function so the homogeneity is saying that if you take something common if that thing comes out with any power then it is homogeneous and the power is the degree of homogeneity here the power is 1 so degree of homogeneity equal to 1 if the remember that this can be a fraction as well and degree of homogeneity can be less than 0 as well next one we have a structure, two commodity model can be written as a system of two linear equations, find out the equilibrium price. Okay, so here it's a, a very simplistic structure. All you have to do is multiply this equation and these two equations with uh, gamma 1 first and this one with C1. I hope you can solve it yourself. Okay, and in the second case also the same idea will be followed. So in this way you can directly get the answer of the equilibrium prices. I'm not just solving. If you have any doubts regarding the solution, you can write in the comment section below. I will solve it for you later. Okay, now this is a direct question, cost of diet and nutrients. This is a carbohydrate entire structure and the consumer has to select the combination of X1 and X2 at the same time. And the daily minimum requirement so they want you to formulate a LPP so whenever they are saying about the price 
So this is a problem of minimization because they have to go for cost minimization. Okay, and uh, same time, the daily minimum requirement of nutrients. So, minimum of Z 12x plus 42y. What is x and y? x and y, oh sorry, x1 and x2 here are the two possible food units, uh, parents of food they are purchasing and carbohydrate, protein and minerals. So with respect to that, carbohydrate is x1 plus 2x2. So the formation is like this chain, this chain and this chain. Remember that if it is minimum, then it has to be max. Okay. So minimum requirement means greater than equal to maximum requirement means less than equal to will be the sign. So less than I'm sorry uh, minimum so greater than equal to three. Next one is x one. This coefficient is four so four x two greater than equal to four. And the last one is x one three x one plus x two greater than equal to three. So these are the three possible formation of the LPP where x1, x2 are greater than equal to 0. So that is the basic linear programming based formation in this case. Now in this question we have a structural formation. The geometrical interpretation they have asked. Actually these two systems are linearly dependent. And they are not independent systems. So and let's write 3 into x minus 3y equal to 2. So that's it. So as it is can be expressed as x is equation 1, 2 as 2 can be expressed as a linear combination of equation 1 so we can interpret that they are linearly in information so it is not solvable and uh, infinite number of solutions are there okay so this is a kind of a question which is nowadays very much common in the next video I will solve many more new questions like this.